Hey everyone, a few weeks ago we decided we were going to design our own engineering notebook to make it easier for you to work on your projects. So we made it, we came up with this one. And it's pretty nice. Uh, it's black glossy, uh, has a little bit of print on it. On the front, it's an engineering lab notebook this notebook belongs to. It has a start and end date. When you keep a notebook, you want to keep track of when you started it and when you end it. And then if this is the first notebook, the second notebook, maybe this notebook is for a specific project, right? So uh, you would write that project name here. And then if you ever need to reference a notebook, you find this one, this specific one. And then have some sections for you to list out some table of contents. And then you have these pages. Now these pages are uh, 2.54 millimeters apart. They're pretty close. And so that's important because that's the same spacing that's used in perf boards and it's also used in breadboards so if you have ever have to breadboard a project you can actually sketch your breadboard out on your paper uh, for keeping track of it and you see we get lots of pages like that for you to use and then towards the back I've included some other stuff so like here's your uh, soldering safety rules right uh, Ohm's law engineering notation reference uh, your E series of resistors, so like your there's your E3, your E6, your E12, your resistor color code, and then some quick reference for schematic diagrams. And then on the very back, we have a KiCad cheat sheet. Now I use KiCad a lot uh, for PCB design, and the hardest thing for me when I started was the shortcuts, the hotkeys. So I went ahead and I put all of the hotkeys in the back of the book so that you can quick reference it. Uh, we're going to put these up on the website. And if you think it's interesting, go ahead and grab one. I appreciate it. Have a great day.